Ukrainian forces being consistent, were able to advance in multiple areas. It's day 566 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from Novodonetsky sector. In my last report, I reported how Ukrainian forces are launching infantry attacks on Novomayorsky. But with help of heavy artillery, Russian forces are able to repel most of the attacks. However, Ukrainian forces, being consistent with their attack, were able to take this area under their control. As Russian forces have withdrawn their forces to the southern side, it is likely that Ukraine will be able to clear the gray area and take it under their control. We have the same situation in Novodonetsky. Ukrainian forces are trying to recapture the village that they once captured at the start of the counteroffensive. Latest report says Ukrainian forces are attacking the village from several directions. However, their main focus remains the western side. They want to encircle the Russians in the village by capturing the important heights located at the south. Sources say Ukrainian forces after attacking Russian positions for several days were able to advance further. However, after the Russian reinforcements, they were forced to retreat. Overall, Ukrainian forces were successful as they were able to take this area under their control. Currently fights are taking place in this gray area. Russian sources say, even though they are inflicting heavy damage on Ukrainian equipment, pressure is high. Now moving to south of Bakhmut. It looks like Klashivka is about to fall. In my last report, I reported how Ukrainian forces were attacking Russian positions in the northern part from multiple sides. Latest report says, after hitting Russian position with very heavy artillery, they forced Russians to withdraw to the northern outskirts. Ukrainian sources say, their forces now only need to take a couple houses in the northern outskirts, before they can confirm the capture. They further added that, Russian forces have withdrawn to the railway line, and have built their next defensive line there. Now in Andrivka, after the Russian forces' withdrawal, Ukrainian forces have still not entered the village. Many sources are concerned about the potential traps set by Russian forces. While some sources claim, Ukrainian forces have started the clearing operation. Now moving to Berkivka. You can say this front was relatively calm, as fights fought here were mostly positional in nature. Ukrainian forces from time to time tried to advance towards the village. However, Russian forces were able to keep the front line stable. In a recent video shared by Russian sources, you can see them striking retreating Ukrainian forces. It is said, Russian forces quickly launched the counter-attack given the opportunity, and as a result were able to take this small area under their control. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.